What is a man? Ernest Hemingway will tell you that the three traits that make a man are courage, honor, and grace under pressure. Winston Churchill also has opinions on being a man, stating that a man does what he must, in spite of personal consequences, in spite of dangers, obstacles, and pressures. The question has been answered in so many different ways, and yet, there's no easy explanation. For most children today, their view of what a man should be is greatly skewed, as they forget a man is forged by virtues. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen an Abercrombie and Fitch commercial? How about Adolf Eckes commercial with the most interesting man in the world? Kids these days think to, that to be a man, you have to be strong and tall with rock hard six pack abs. Take a look at me. I don't have any of the traits of a cool kid. Throughout my life, I can never understand how I, the most mature person in his class, wasn't getting all the ladies. Did you know I was the first person in my class to grow a beard, a beard, and yet I remained at the bottom of the popularity ladder. I got so desperate, I even tried to display my superior intelligence as a sign of being the better man. However, I was forced to drop this plan due to my small stature and fear of getting a black eye. <laughs> Despite my attempts, I was failing at proving my manhood. But instead of giving up, I turned to my studies for help. And through my research, I discovered something that completely blew my mind. It was that a true man doesn't spend his life strutting his stuff like some model or idol. A real man doesn't have to. What makes a man is a lot more complex than enormous biceps or charming good looks. It's virtues. Yes, virtues. But what about the man I grew up thinking to be the manliest man to ever exist? Ernest Hemingway. We all know what he was up to. Hunting, fishing, drinking, gallivanting, and of course, and of course bullfighting. <laughs> he definitely had a reputation, but let's face it. What kind of man goes through four wives, abandons his fatherly duties, is a raging alcoholic, and commits suicide at the very peak of his career? He spent more time away from his family, pursuing petty dreams, than helping his wives raise their children. Now, despite his risque lifestyle, he is known as a terrific writer. He created characters with a good sense of mannerism, courage, and honor. I don't think Hemingway was too far off with these glorious descriptions, but he missed the most important trait of all, responsibility. Being a man means taking responsibility not only for your actions, but for those around you, your family and friends. It is about providing for the ones you care about, because a real man always does what's right. Gus Fring from the award-winning TV series Breaking Bad said it best. <laughs> what does a man do? A man, a man provides. And he does it even when he's not appreciated or respected or even loved. He simply bears it up. And he does it because he's a man. Thank you. Thank you. Go and go and hook you here. All right. Yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, there goes a man.